am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' yeah. I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it, yeah, they love it and get buckets on the first in and the last out see me coming first take i'm hotter than hot hotter than some boiling water i bubble the pot team full of ballers baby we winning a lot i'm like curry with the rock when i get to my spot i'm tapping in i'm passionate this is what passion is this here now nah, this is no accident from the start to the finish i'm cashing in i am number one not number two if I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last See me coming Been popping Sports center from a little I was watching Spin a bag like I'm Rafa Caught a top spin How could I not win? Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium Home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers As we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle And boy do we have a fun one ahead Top 10 team Target on their back Going on their road And right into the snake pit as we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Using his legs, it's Love. On the move at the 30. Oh, look out! He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's... Get set, get set. Okay. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Let's it fly! And try... Efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The lone back's got it. Still running at the 40. By making them chase. Yeah, I like the idea of going outside. You want to mix and match it between the tackles to the outside. Get these big fellas. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are. Just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Trying the left side. Got the first down and more. <laughs> and chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense He's going to pass. Going deep. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Well, we know this guy's a huge weapon catching the football. And David, he's difficult to bring down. What an athlete with his size and speed. Dude, it's stupid. You want me to play defense now against all these guys and all this speed and skill all over the yard, and then you got a tight end like this who can not only catch it with his big frame and his big body, but do that after the catch. It's just so hard. One thing I do know, Reese, this running back has got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to jump on top of them. Come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab. And you can see the purpose. Finished through the sticks and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front too, right? Good communication, everybody. Fires and picked off. 
trying to take it back. The 40. Inside the 30. 10. And he's going to score on the interception. between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going all kinds of running room. He's at the 10, and he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown by the Iron. These guys are really hitting their stride, and we push out that lead. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. And the coaches may change, but the brand of Notre Dame is what it is. They're going to be physical. They're going to run. And it's intercepted. A turnover from the defense. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. And to me, that is the downside of a flea flicker. Man, sometimes it creates so much momentum and a big play. But a lot of times you see this, Paul, where the quarterback wants to force it, take that big shot, and be so aggressive. There's going to be a conversation after this game between the offensive play caller and his head coach. The, the big man's going to be asking why. Wants to fire on second down. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Minnesota! A great catch and run for six. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Wants to throw on first down. Feeling some heat. He's going to take off. And the defense makes the tackle, and that ought to do it here in the first half. This offense has a second down play. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, it is hard to beat Minneapolis when that town is buzzing as it is today. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Huntington Bank Stadium. One on that last one, it's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Yeah, and man, you talk about being down at the half. What's one thing I need to do? I, I got to protect my quarterback. In the first series here now, you're getting your quarterback hit and taken to the ground. This offense has to protect that dude at all costs. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. It's caught. They'll finally full possessions. Really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, trying to have a shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! You thought they were done. They're not. They're back, baby. Really nice job working the 
route and getting himself open. He's able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. It just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something. And he makes the catch inside the 15. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. The toss sweep to the right. And he'll sprint in for the score. offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get. Fires a bullet. Now oh, it's picked off. Takes it the other way. Pass to 10. Touchdown, Iron. What a great play by the defense. Paying it off with the interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right. Which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Going over the top. Wide open. He makes the catch. Touchdown by the Irish. And the throwing has these offenses get a rhythm. It's hard to stop. Already up early. Got a short field. Take advantage of it, too. Get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story. Makes a catch on the left. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. Empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. They were equal to the challenge. Yeah, and that's a play the receiver would love to have back. And look for a second. And it's caught for a touchdown. They're going to play this one through to the end, but this is pretty much window dressing. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling here down by 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. What's happening in a great top 25 matchup? Cincinnati is trailing right now, but let's be honest. The program that turned out Desmond. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give as they work on that clock. Oh, I think grabbing air. Stomping the guy in the teeth when you got him down, they'll try to tack on three more. Not a chance. Missed it. After the missed field goal, hey. Could be worse. They're still up by 21. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And that is interception number three on the day. 
And he is brought to the ground, and that's how we'll wrap this one up. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job by this team being ready, getting the W. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been.